Westcott said this week that his political career was almost wrecked by an eating disorder. But not, it appears, by his speaking disorder, being rubbish at his job disorder, or his couldn't-keep-it-in-his-trousers disorder. Oh, someone's got big hands. Hello, sailor. Come and give me a rub a dub dub. Here. Stick me head down to you, Ben. Oh, I think I can hear the sea. <gasps> Loggy bog. Oh, my new film's in here. Oh. Very quiet weekend at the end. Just ate some quiche, mm. did a bit of yoga. Oh, and we watched An Inconvenient Truth. Oh, have you seen it? Oh, it's incredibly thought-provoking. Jeremy, we're about to shoot. Tighten your jeans. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you hold my chamomile? Oh, oh, oh my God, my balls! My balls! My... My name is Jeremy Clarkson, and I'm bloody angry. Let's drive fast. <laughs> Yo, Hazard, what say we give the old guards the slipola and go to the flicks tonight? Just you and me melting into the crowd ski, showing the ordinary guys on the street how we roll. Totally, brethren. Just regular guys doing what ordinary people do with no ceremony or damn BS. Yeah. Hello, Richie? Yo, blood, we'd like to see a normal film, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. The kind of thing someone might go to after a hard day baking cakes or breeding miniature schnauzers. Yeah, something with Adam Sandler in it. Right. We're showing Indiana Jones and the Milking of the Cash Cow 4. Perfecto. That sounds totally up our boulevard cinema, dude. Yeah, totally ordinary film that a train driver might watch. OK, normal seats or premiere? Just ordinary chairs, like people might sit on in Leeds or the Gambia. Right, and how many? 46. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, mm. Are you taking a mic? No, two for us. Then there's security, transport, catering, door openers, general dog's bodage, and those two women that hang around all the time. Girlfriends. Yeah. Oh, do, do you have anywhere I can park my chopper? Bleeding students. Salt tree. Bloody result this, Hazza. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can't make it to the Flickskies, what's more ordinary than watching the Jonesmeister in the totally modest comfort of your own homestead? Hit him! Yeah. Hey. Special with director's commentary on. Well, we uh, we had to reshoot this scene when Harrison's uh, teeth fell out. We are so bloody in touch, actually. Yeah, I'm yeah. 60 yeah. years yeah. old, yeah. for God's mm, sake. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Today on Modern Mysteries. One of the most inexplicable stories of the age. Why does Alistair Darling never get the sack? Let's watch this altercation. But how can you justify giving the banks 50 billion pounds? Well, we're, we're lending the banks taxpayers' money so that they can lend it back to the taxpayers, and I can't rewrite the budget now because I've lost my pen, and, and, and I'm doomed, doomed, doomed! Uh, carry on, I say. Let's watch that again. While giving the banks fifty billion pounds. Well, we're we're lending the banks taxpayers' money so that man, this guy is dull. It's as if all the colour in his body is collected in his eyebrows. Lummy, look at them dance like that funny little doggy of Britain's Got Talent. He was great, much better than that blubbering choir boy. Oh, I haven't listened to a word of this twerp's tedious drone. Now I've completely forgotten what we were talking about. Don't! Uh, carry on, I say. So, we have solved the mystery. He has hypnotic eyebrows. Good night. Here, Pete. All I've eaten this week is a bag of quavers, but I still put on weight. Can you look under my tits and see if I'm pregnant? It's too dark. I can't tell. Better not be. Can't afford another nine months off the modelling. But we're loaded, babe. We sold that exclusive about you bleaching your bum hair to the Guardian. We spent it. I don't know how. And I'm down to my last 300 pink tracksuits. That's only a week's supply. So you better knock out another of your songs. But great art takes time. We're not talking about some crap that can be dashed off in 20 minutes on the back of a cigarette packet. We're talking about an insania or a mysterious girl. Pete, I could have any bloke in the world, yeah? 
Bill Gates would have me like that, just for my intellectigence. If you love me, you'll get me a hundred pink tracksuits by the end of the day. Or I'll find a bloke who will. She's right. I'm supposed to be a man. An effeminate, permatan man. I need to support this family. And this brittle vase has given me an idea. It just poured out of me. You know how I combine insane and mania to make insania? Well, this is going to be massive. I wanted to be famous since I was little. Now I know celebrity is a little brittle. Yeah, it's a lab brittle. I think I just copped a bit of spittle. No way, it's a lab brittle. Whatever happened to Sid Little? What do you reckon? You're an idiot. <laughs> Jonathan Watts here. I'm not saying I'm obsessed with money, but the fact is I'm coin-operated. Ah, that's better. George Galloway was pelted with a stress ball by an eyeweight member of the public this week. I never thought stress balls worked before, but after it hit him, suddenly I felt much better. <laughs> Why not pelt him with stink bombs and see if you can convert me to aromatherapy? <laughs> and now for a picture of my dog in a tutu. Hi, I'm Bono. I bought a gold-plated cowboy hat off the shopping channel. I waited in all day for it to be delivered, wasting time that could have been spent writing another rock classic like One or Where the Streets Have No Name. I only popped upstairs for a slash, and when I came back, I found this. Try to deliver it, my arse. They didn't even ring the doorbell. Now, I've got to go to the depot, which is on an industrial estate 400 miles away and is only open between 8 and 8.01 in the morning on Tuesdays. <sighs> it's also happened to Geldof too, and he's feckin' furious. I'm furious. I waited all day to get an electronic tagging system for peaches delivered. Between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., they said. And what time did they come? 5.59. The f***ers. My brilliant new album will be a day late hitting the shops. Here's a track from it. Well, never fear. I've decided to put an unforgettable fire up the arse of the postal workers myself. I arranged a protest concert, and I invited all my close friends to attend. The world leaders. Sadly, I sent the invite by post, so nobody got them. If I don't make some fast cash, I'm going to lose the love of my life. Ah. Well, there No. Ah. But what sort of salary were you hoping for? I need to earn somewhere between, say, 99 and 101 pink tracksuits. Sorry, Mr. Andre, we don't pay in pink tracksuits. We pay 4 20 an hour. Right. But it's simple work. All we want you to do is wash these 100 pairs of long johns and this one red sock. But remember, wash them separately. Gotcha. What must you do? Wash them separately. What didn't you do? Wash them separately. You're an idiot. Take these down the tip. You're fired. I'm sorry, Kate. You deserve a man who can provide for you properly. A successful man, like Dane Bowers or Gareth Gates. Goodbye, cruel world. You idiot. What are you doing that for? Don't try and stop me. I'm not. If you're trying to top yourself, you have to do it with the roof on. Oh. Let me help. Hey, what are those? Oh, Pete, you got the tracksuits. Oh, and they're just how I like them with the butterfly and everything. Oh, you do love me. Now think, Peter James Andre. What would a winner say in this situation? Don't wear those because they're old people's long johns, which I stained after a red sock laundry incident in an old folks' home. <coughs> I'm such an idiot. And now, commenting on proposals to boost the French manufacturing industry, here is the President of France. Je 
Levez-vous. 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 Restez sur la scène. Levez-vous. Comme une machine de sexe. Levez-vous. Levez-vous. Restez sur la scène. Levez-vous. Comme une machine de sexe. Ah oui. 